So what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to have the quorum, just as you would in city council meeting. We're going to be respectful as speakers, and we're also going to be respectful to speakers, even if they're saying something that we don't agree with. There will be no threats. No one will be threatening to come to someone's house, to come to their job, or anything of that nature. You will not address any board member by name. You would direct all your comments to the chair. Uh, we may begin. Three minutes each, first person. Or we can just start. We'll start with you, sir. Please state your name and your city, your city council member. All right, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> My name is Jason Howard Moore. I'm chairman of the Federation Campaign. I'm here to discuss a matter that I discussed at this, in front of the same board the last time I was here, and that's as to these two counterfeit search warrants with false case numbers. Okay. Sir, let me, let, me, let me stop you real quick. So you filed a, you filed, you did file a complaint, correct? Yeah, I'm going to discuss that in a second, sir. Are you going to let me speak? But I, I just want to ask a question. You, you did right. file a complaint. Yes, I did. Week. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get have, to that. Have you followed up with the, um... Sir, are you going to let me speak and get my details on the record, sir? No, I'm going to let you speak. I'm just asking a okay. question. Did you follow up I, on your... I, th that's what I'm going to discuss today. Yes, I did. I've been dealing with the dis district attorney's office for the last two days at the Frank Crowley Courts, and I've also been uh, in contact mm -hmm. with the Dallas Police Department directly and the mm -hmm. Urban Police Department these last two days. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed right now, because I just came back from uh, the, the court speaking with uh, Public Integrity Unit mm -hmm. uh, Chief And I Prosecutor. apologize for interrupting. Now, may I move forward, please? Okay. May I speak? May yes, I, I, I apologize for interrupting. Okay. okay. Now, as I was saying, last time I was here, I brought these two counterfeit warrants signed by Dallas County District Judge Stephanie Mitchell Huff of the 291st District Court with false case number 252541-2015, which have been proven to be false case numbers. These two search warrants were maliciously manufactured by Detective Jabari Howard of the Dallas Police Department, batch number 8427. They unlawfully arrested me. They did a whole bunch of things that I'm not going to go into right now, but the issue is, is I came here, I asked this board to do something about it. I filed a complaint that day. I spoke with someone, uh, Tatiana, I believe her name was, or something close to that. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard a word back. But what I did receive is an email stating that my complaint will be forwarded to the same internal affairs uh, uh, division in the Dallas Police Department that's been denying me justice for the last four years. These are third degree felonies by the Texas Penal Code. They were manufactured to defraud and to harm me. There are false governmental records and they are search warrants, which means under the Texas Penal Code, these are, th are third degree felonies. And I demand that these people be investigated and prosecuted. I can't get help from this, from the complaint that I filed at this very board. I've asked you guys to do something about it. I have plain evidence, a mountain of evidence of government corruption and law enforcement corruption, plain evidence, and everyone, including the media, keeps looking the other way. So I know, I know no one gives a damn about somebody from South Dallas, even though I left South Dallas and moved to Las Colinas and changed my life. I know nobody cares about that. I know that District 7, nobody cares about. I get that. But we cannot have these public officials, these law enforcement officers, making counterfeit warrants. Because if they made one, if they made two, who's to say there's not a third, a fourth, and a fifth? So at this point, since I know that this council is just set up for the public as a dog and pony show, which is my opinion, I want to know who do I complain to to get something done about a corrupt police officer that's out there right now that can easily do this again with the same corrupt judge that's sitting over there at the Frank Crowley Court. What are we going to do about it? That's what I want to know. What's, what, what's, what's happened with the complaint? Why is it being forwarded to the uh, uh, Eternal Affairs as opposed to being handled by this board? Because we all know that the Eternal Affairs, we know how they operate. Well, I know how they operate personally, and that's to conceal and to cover up. They don't have the, the, the public's interest at heart. And I hope this board knows that I'm not playing. You better get used to my face.
because I hope you can see that I'm not somebody that's just going to come and make one complaint. Okay, I, sir, I, I hate to interrupt. Your, your time is up. Can I just get an answer to my question? What are we going to do about this? Uh, we'll get uh, Tatiana. What are we going to do about this, board members? Do we have, a, do we have any updates on, um, on where the status is of this in investigation? Okay. So if it's going to IA, then that investigation is going to be on hold until we get a monitor hired so that the monitor can observe that investigation. So it, it may be some time before we get a monitor so that your, that investigation will be monitored. Get used to my face. Every last one of y'all, get used to my face. I'm not going anywhere. Every last one of them going to be brought to justice. And I mean that, brother. Thank you, sir. I'll get your name, address. How you doing? My name is Lewis Morton. Uh, I stay in the uh, 7th District, uh, South Dallas. Uh, that's my cousin y'all just hearing from. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see that he's, you know, a little upset, but I'm not going to get up here and bash anybody. Uh, I want to talk about Jabari Howard, too. Um, I also seen the, the, you know, the amount of evidence that he have. You know, uh, by me dealing with law, law enforcement, I know how it's done. I know right is right and wrong is wrong. You know, um, I done seen the... At pretty, at pretty much every evidence that he have, and I know that it don't make sense. And, and you know, you can easily look at it too and look at the amount of evidence that he have that it don't make sense either. You know, like I said, right is right and wrong is wrong. But uh, for him to be doing this, Jabari Parker that I'm talking about, for him to be doing this, this was well, not to say that he done done it already, not just to say that he he'll do it again. You know, it's just it's just unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. That's, that, that's just all I have to say. Like I said, I'm not going to bash anybody. I'm not going to, you know, lash out at anybody. I just want to just, just state my, comp, my, my uh, you know, my statement on, a, on an issue because yeah. I felt like it was, uh, it, was, it was beneficial for me to come down here and speak on his behalf because obviously he's not getting no, no word from nobody. Don't nobody really want to hear what he had to say. So I understand why he ticked off. But like I said, I'm, I'm here on his behalf. And I just feel like, you know, it was beneficial for me and him because, you know, he's a family member to come down here and speak on his behalf. So if I got to come back and more family members got to come back to, to talk about this issue, we'll, we can do that. But thanks for having me. Oh, thank you. Good evening, sir. Name, address? Kent Burgess, Caddo, mm -hmm. Texas. Yes, sir. Y'all doing all right this evening? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm good so far. What I've come to talk about is a seven-year-old issue with the city of Dallas. It stems back to August or April 21st, 2013, when Officer Brian Burgess was in an accident. He was a Dallas PD officer. Some of the officers on the side of the room probably will cringe when they hear that night. He was prosecuted, cleared within one hour by the jury. And we finally get all the testimony and open records and the city documents produced for trial from the Dallas County DA do not match the open records. And we do have specific documents. We have in hand, we requested a date, time, everything on those documents, even sent them a copy of one of those documents. They do not exist. And when you get down to the testimony and the investigation of one of the officers he blatantly admits to his lie. And I will read. So Senior Corporal Smith actually saw the man's body, actually visited the hospital, talked to the nurses, and he concluded that there is no evidence the car ran over Mr. Fred Bradford. Correct. Yes, sir. Answer by Juan Contreras. So there is no evidence that Mr. Bradford ever went underneath the vehicle, is there? No, sir. Then you added possibly underneath the vehicle. Yes, sir. I don't know why I did that. That's wrong. His own words. We have made, my son has made two complaints to the IED here, Internal Affairs. They keep sitting back. Nothing's wrong. This man does nothing wrong. Brian went through four years waiting on a trial. That's not due process. Four years to the day of the trial. 
and it was a tragic accident. But the state witness for the DA even said on the stand the DA withheld evidence from him in this case. It's all documented. Everything we have is in print. And we have officers that are retired that will tell you about meetings that went on about this case. And I'm going to push as hard as I can to get this rectified because it was wrong. And if they'll do that to a man in blue that was doing his job, what are they going to do to all of you and all of these people whenever the officer lies? And I'm a 100% back to blue. My local sheriff's department out at home, they got my number. I got theirs. Something wrong, I call them. They call me. I'll stop and help any officer on the road. <clears throat> but this is wrong, and the Dallas Police Department knows it. Sir, now, your time is up. What, what is it that you are asking for the board to do here? I want the board to investigate this case because of the wrongdoing, the falsified documents, the fire department invest, uh, paramedics totally cannot keep their story straight through the whole thing. They falsified a federal document. They need to go to jail. You wouldn't want it done to you. You wouldn't want it done to your family member because they lied and they continued the lie. And he finally admitted it. Would you like to file a complaint today, sir? Pardon? Would you like to file a complaint today? We can, uh, I can get a complaint specialist okay. to help you file your complaint. But I appreciate y'all's time. Okay, thank and you. I we'll will, two, I have tried calling the number for this council. Mm -hmm. I can't get anybody to answer. I have talked to one of the board members, sent her my contact information. I've never received anything. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a uh, okay. complaint but specialist it's just tonight. One of those, I, I just can't get nothing in person, you know, over the phone or communication. Yeah, we'll take care of you and tonight. I understand we'll y'all trying to get it set up, but yeah. it's been an issue. <clears throat> right, but we'll take care of you tonight. We'll take care of you tonight. I appreciate it. Thank right. you. Thank you. Y'all have a good evening. D. Holly, District 14. Uh, good evening. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Dallas, Texas. Um, first, I would like to thank Mr. Fortune, Mr. Chairman, and all the other individuals involved in finally um, implementing rules of decorum so we can all feel fa safe to speak. Mm -hmm. um, at the last two, I've been hesitant to speak because at the last two meetings, um, the, it was the, with the aggressive accusations in the room, it was kind of tough. Um, a lot of things have been said about two members of this bo board, both accusations and, like you mentioned earlier, threats. But what you haven't heard is how the two of these, these members, um, Mrs. Rodriguez and Mrs. Blackman, have reached out to Mr. Higgins and Mr. Alexander, uh, and they both refused to meet. So I can't see how that's bringing reconciliation or unity to this city. Um, by the way, I was at almost all the town hall meetings that were discussed and that, 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 we, that we discussed the expansion of this board and I heard Mrs. Rodriguez speak many times and never heard or saw any misconduct or racially charged statements, ever. In fact, she was one of the few who asked how our tax dollars, your tax dollars, would be allocated and no one could provide that information. She also requested data points on how exactly a board like this has decreased crime in the other 122 cities that have a board, and that too was unavailable. She also volunteered to help the board due to the, what they said there was an over, overwhelming number of complaints, which I think turned out to be 12. As we heard at every town hall meeting in last week, this board is to represent all the community and to address the police, the, the police that address the police policy, not to attack individuals or their political beliefs. This board is not even, from what I understand, heard, have, we, they haven't even heard one case yet, and these people are being harassed and dis discriminated against. That sounds a lot like reverse racism to me. This cannot be tolerated, and Mr. Chairman, I applaud you for standing behind each one of these citizens serving on this board. I trust that all cases not just for black or brown, just like we heard just a minute ago, in this community, to, but to all our community members will be heard and together you will find reconciliation and, and correct the failing policies that have called, 
caused Dallas's crime to be at an all-time high. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to thank all of y'all for your service. I know it is uh, out of the um, care of the city of Dallas and ensuring uh, justice for all. My name is Susan Fountain. I live in City Council District 10 in Dallas. Good evening. Good evening. I have attended the past two meetings of this new and supposedly improved Community Police Oversight Board. If the chair of this board, the city manager, the assistant city manager, and police chief hall continue to allow a group of thugs led by felons to harass and threaten you all into forcing appointed members from this board, then you are indeed already on a path to failure before you've even had a chance to make it the difference that they demand. That these coalition partners demand that only black and brown people be allowed to serve is in itself racist, and they are guilty of that which they accuse these board members. Our police officers have a tough enough job as it is without these radicalized police haters indoctrinating others to target them. Our crime rates are skyrocketing, and you castigate our law enforcement for trying to keep you safe from yourselves in your own neighborhoods. If there was no crime there, you wouldn't need any police protection. No area in Dallas is completely safe anymore. Even our mayor, who when campaigning in May said that Dallas doesn't have a crime crisis, is now walking back that ill-informed statement and demanding action from our city manager, T.C. Brodnax, and police chief, Renee Hall. I'd like to tell the two members of this board who are, um, have been targeted to stand strong. We support you, and we support all of our men in blue, men and women in blue, very strongly. We appreciate that they put their lives on the line every day for all of us. You have many people who support you. Your presence on this board, it's important to hear your voice as well. Your saner heads will, build, will bring well-rounded discussions to this board and make all of Dallas safer. Those who threaten you should themselves be held accountable and many of us call the rule of order for this board to be allowed to do its job. Thank you all for your service. Thank you.